Hello, how's it going everyone? This is a quick tutorial on how to port forward a sky router to host a game server. In this instance, I shall be using Minecraft as, as an example, but you could use this for most games that you would like to host a server for. Uh, this eliminates the need to use a program such as Hamachi, but I still do not recommend you use this for large uh, public servers because it may have lag issues and will put the security of your network at risk. So let's jump right in. Okay, so the first thing you will need to do is to find something called your default gateway. This can be done by, by typing CMD in the search box like that. And once you open, I'll just maximize it, you want to type in IPCONFIG and press the enter key and you want to find your you want to scroll down to default gateway which is here and you want to find this number here so mine is 192.168.0.1 so you want to write that down and remember it because this is how we will access the router settings so you can successfully port forward okay so next what you'll need to do is, is open up an internet browser of your choice and in the search bar at the top you will need to type in the number you wrote down for your default gateway. So this is 192.168.0.1 for me. And then hit enter. You'll probably have a different number. And when you're here, you need to click on to security. Oh, and by the way, this is uh, for a Sky router. You'll be able to follow the same instructions for most other brands of router. But uh, I'm doing it specifically for a Sky router now. So you click on security at the top and you'll see a, a logon box will open you need to enter the username and password for your router this can normally be found on the bottom of the box but if not you're in a bit of trouble um the default uh, username and password for a sky router is username admin and the password is normally sky and if you hit ok and then what you want to do is is head on over to services and click add a service this now you need to so basically this is now adding a service so your router knows which ports to open up when you start to host a minecraft server so the name you want to call minecraft and the type tcp slash udp start port 25565 and same with the finish port and then click apply okay, so the next thing we need to do is head on back over to cmd so we'll type that in the box i'll make it bigger we need to type ip config in again and we need to find if you find your ipv4 address and make sure to write that down or remember it Mine's 192.168.0.9. So once we have that, you need to minimize and head on over to firewall rules. So this is where you allow inbound and outbound services. So in this case, it'd be a Minecraft or whatever game server you want. So underneath outbound services, you need to click on add. And where it says service, you click on Minecraft. Another thing, uh, the, these port numbers here, the port range, um, it will be different for other servers, uh, for, for the game, sorry, but um, for Minecraft it's that. It's always best to check. Uh, you need to allow it always, and that is all you need to do for the outbound services. And then underneath inbound services, you need to click add. And for the service, again, Minecraft. You need to allow it always and for send to LAN server you need to enter uh, your IPv4 address so it's in four different boxes because there should be four well it should be three decimal points so you see the decimal points are in between the boxes so you don't put it all in one box you split it up so 192.168.0.9 obviously yours may be different and that if I click on apply like that and that now if I click apply 
that should now allow you to um, host a Minecraft server. So obviously you uh, should have already downloaded the files and you click that and you'll head on over to what's uh, my IP. Your IP address here, obviously mine's censored for security issues. Um, and then you'll, you'll give your friends that and they'll be able to connect to your Minecraft server. So thank you for watching. I uh, hope it wasn't too boring. And I'll see you later.